Welcome to a backyard service video. In this video, we will change the timing belt in a 2008 Jeep JK with a 2.8 litre CRD diesel engine. Remove battery connection. We have to remove the front grille, then the plastic cover from the radiator, remove the washer fluid container, then the air filter box assembly. Remove the electrical fan, then the radiator shroud. Then remove the cooling fan. You are now ready to remove the serpentine belt. Release tension on the tensioner bolt with a breaker bar. You can pull the belt off the pulley. After removing the lifting bracket, you can remove the belt. Match mark the crankshaft pulley to help later reassemble in the same position. Unbolt the four bolts. Pull off the pulley. Remove engine lift bracket and fan pulley assembly. Disconnect the camshaft position sensor wiring harness, then remove the bolt that holds the sensor. Pull out the sensor. Remove all bolts from the upper timing cover. Then you can remove the cover. Do the same thing with the lower cover. You have just exposed the timing belt. Wipe off the rubber surface from the camshaft plug to reveal the hole in the middle of the actual metal plug. We have used this professional tool and a screwdriver to gently pop out the plug. Make sure not to hurt anything behind the plug. Rotate crank until TDC timing marks line up. You may have to rotate multiple cycles to have all three marks line up at the same time. Crankshaft mark at 3 o'clock, high pressure fuel pump mark at 5 o'clock. There is no mark on the camshaft. You should purchase the dedicated camshaft locking tool. There is only one position you can fit and lock the camshaft. Remove the engine block plug. It is located on the side of the engine in front of the starter motor. Install the crankshaft locking tool. Make sure it does thread into the crankshaft. Mark the old belt and the cam pulley on two teeth. Mark the old belt and the crank pulley on one tooth. Mark the old belt and the fuel pump on two teeth. These marks will be helpful installing the new belt at the same position. Loosen the timing belt tensioner, then you can remove the timing belt. Remove bolts and the tensioner pulley. Before removing the water pump, drain the coolant liquid. Unbolt the inner timing cover, then you can remove the cover itself. Unboard the water pump and gently remove it from the engine block. Admire its beauty. Clean the matting surface of the water pump. A good idea at this point to clean the entire block surface that was hidden behind the covers. Install the new water pump. Tighten bolts to 32 Newton meters. Install the previously cleaned inner timing cover. Tighten the bolts to 8 Newton meters. Install the new tensioner pulley. Finger tighten the bolt at this point. Compare the old belt with the new one. Match mark the same teeth on the new belt. Install the new timing belt. It might not be that easy. 
Make sure that the camshaft locking tool stays in place meanwhile. You can push the tensioner sideways to help install the belt. Make sure the marks copied onto the new belt 100% match the marks on all the pulleys. Adjust the tensioner position. Use a mirror to do this. Adjust until the indicator arrow points exactly in the middle of the U mark. Tighten the bolt to 28 newton meters to lock the tensioner position. Remove the crankshaft locking tool and don't forget to reinstall the engine block plug. Remove the camshaft locking tool. Install the new camshaft plug. Just push it in with your hand. Rotate the engine a few times and check the belt and the tensioner alignment. If you find that everything is OK, then you can start to reassemble everything. The lower cover. Tighten bolts to 8 newton meters. The upper cover. Tighten bolts to 8 newton meters. The camshaft position sensor and wiring harness. Tighten board to 11 newton meters. The crankshaft pulley in matching position. Tighten bolts to 32 newton meters. The engine lift bracket and fan pulley assembly. Tighten bolts to 45 newton meters. The serpentine belt. The lifting bracket. Tighten bolts to 45 newton meters. The cooling fan. Reconnect the battery terminal and fill up the coolant reservoir. You can check your work by starting the engine. Since the intake air sensor is not reconnected yet, you might admire your work with idling engine only. Reassemble the radiator shroud with the electrical fan. The air filter box with all the connecting hoses. It is not visible in this video, but of course reassemble the washer fluid container, the plastic cover on top of the radiator and the front grille as well. You can start the engine, top your coolant and recheck everything. Repeat the procedure every 5 years or 100,000 kilometers. And don't forget to subscribe.